Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley today confirmed the decision to vote against Dominica's request for a waiver of the Organization of American States contribution last month was not authorized. He said the Minister of Foreign and Caricom Affairs was never consulted. At the weekly post-cabinet briefing, Prime Minister Rowley revealed the report into the events of the OAS mix-up, which he described as disturbing reading and was referred for expert review. Ian Wayson has the details. According to Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley, there was no Trinidad and Tobago representative at the meeting on March 15th when it was decided collectively that members of the Organization of American States would support Dominica's waiver request. However, at the subsequent meeting eight days later, this country's representative, without the knowledge or consultation of the Foreign and CARICOM Affairs Ministry, opted to go with a decision made earlier this year when a similar request was made. What they were referring to was an earlier meeting in February, I think, where there was a request by another CARICOM country for a waiver within CARICOM on the, on the matter. And the CARICOM group took the position, including Trinidad and Tobago, that that waiver to that particular request should not be granted. The position taken at the meeting was not in line with government's position in support of Dominica. That I was physically present in the ministry and had extensive discussions with the permanent secretary during the same period of 23rd March 2018 that the unauthorized position of Trinidad and Tobago was conveyed to the embassy of Washington. Dr. Rowley reminded the public of this country's position when he invited citizens to open their homes and schools to Dominican nationals. He also asserted opposition member Rodney Charles is in no position to talk about diplomatic relations. Then when a racist politician left France and went to New York seeking to run for the presidency of France and could not find a single country to stand with her, as leader of the Nationalist Party of France, and the only country that stood with her and had lunch with her was Trinidad and Tobago. And the person who ate that lunch, to our shame, was one Rodney Charles. Ian Wayson, C News.